Brain injury may not be adequately addressed in emergency rooms, and milder TBIs may not show up on standard neuroimaging such as CT or MRI. Children diagnosed with or suspected of having a traumatic brain injury should be referred to a neuropsychologist or other trained professional for evaluation. These evaluations can differentiate between a child who has a TBI and one who has an ADHD. Head Start providers should follow up on these evaluations. One of the things I find is that parents are worried that their children are going to get mislabeled and that that label is going to stick for the rest of their child's life and that will cause a disability. And what I um, counsel on and encourage parents uh, to do is to make sure that the school does adequate testing, to make sure that the school follows up in testing every, one, every, every year or every two years, and always revisit the diagnosis because certainly once you've had a brain injury, you've always had a brain injury, but it, just because you had the brain injury doesn't mean you have to be disabled. And it's, it's essential uh, that parents realize that labels don't have to follow their children throughout school. Finding out where a child is in re-entry into school uh, from the injury is essential. Uh, figuring out a child's stamina. Um, if a child has a brain injury and maybe they're on a stimulant and it helps them be able to focus and pay attention in school for four hours instead of two hours, that's good. If they start getting headaches, they start getting tired and fatigued, they get irritable, they might get silly and giddy. Uh, then they might start getting in trouble. So we have to see if the school is adapting to their stamina and the level of stimulation they can have. Most children will quickly recover from a mild traumatic brain injury or concussion. Some may experience dizziness, memory problems, fatigue, or other symptoms for a few weeks to months after their injury. Children with moderate to severe brain injuries may need specialized programs that consider the specific needs assessed in the neuropsychological evaluation. For the kids that have the mild to moderate uh, brain injury and the medication and the rehab has been helpful and say they've had three, three months off from school, um, they can do fine in regular classrooms as long as they have some sort of uh, 504 plan in place that, that ad addresses the specific parts of their injury. Brain injuries may compromise attention, memory, and processing speed. Children with brain injury may require information to be repeated several times. They may require more time to do their work or adjustments in their learning modality. Computers and other assistive devices are often prescribed as part of their therapeutic regimen. The other one is helping uh, these kids, depending on what's going on, is uh, being able to better um, understand what other kids are doing. At that age, kids tend to do parallel play and then they develop some other play where there's some rules that are involved as they're getting a little older. So the kids might need help from the adults to begin to understand what's going on around them and to get along better with the other kids. Uh, and vice versa, the other kids might need some help to maybe slow down a little bit or repeat things with them. Um, and again, it all just depends. Then there's fine motor skills and gross motor skill development. So these kids might need a little bit more help with uh, fine motor skills. They might need the bigger crayons longer. They might need to have scissors uh, and uh, some help with one over, uh, what's called hand over hand, help to do some things just so that they begin uh, to get the skills that they need. By training uh, and by doing activities over and over again, the repetition begins to help the brain uh, recover and do the things it needs to be doing. A child who has sustained a traumatic brain injury of any severity has an increased likelihood of sustaining additional brain injuries. Providers who are caring for a child with a known or diagnosed TBI will want to be extra cautious in observing and protecting that child in order to prevent exposure to repeated insults. Children with milder injuries who are expected to improve should not be allowed to engage in normal activities until receiving physician approval.